Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Robert, and uh, we got a new project we're gonna start. We're gonna get into something new here at Armadillo Junction. So y'all come along, and I'll show you what I got going on. So of all the crazy things I could get into, I'm gonna start trying to raise some quail here at Armadillo Junction. Here in my backyard, urban setting in the city, you can't have chickens or any kind of livestock. This typical, uh, you know, residential backyard. But we're gonna try to sneak some quail in back there, see what'll happen. What I'm gonna work with today is I, I went to buy me, I see a lot of people using the plastic totes. And uh, we went, look, them things are 30, 40, 50 dollars a piece for a large tote now. So we're gonna get some scrap wood together and uh, we're gonna build one out of wood, see how we can make one. All right, so what I found laying around, I got a, I got a leftover piece of T111 from building my little mini camper and a piece of, uh, little quarter inch Luan style, uh, what am I trying to say, plywood. I got some two by twos and uh, a lot of various other scraps. So I'll get to cutting these pieces out and I'll get back with y'all when I go to put it together. All right, I decided to go with a two foot by three foot by one foot tall brooder. And what we got is I, was, I got me a piece, the bottom's gonna be out of the T111 and all the sides are gonna be a uh, quarter inch. Then I got some two by twos to put in the corner to build up the top. So we'll go ahead and start putting this together and I'll let y'all see what I got. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start putting this together. And if you know, if you watch my channel any length of time, you know I like to repurpose and reuse and recycle. So we're just gonna go with some one inch uh, wood screws that came out of some, uh, I don't even know where they came from. That's what we're gonna use. We'll go ahead and put the sides on first. See if I can do this with one person operation. We got it going our way now. All right, that looks pretty good. So we'll get some screws in it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the ends on now. Doing the same way, I'm just using my clamps. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our two by twos in the corner for the bracing there.
ran into a snag. I changed some things and we didn't have enough two by twos like I thought we would have. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some scrap one by four because I got plenty of it laying around. And we're gonna get the pocket hole jig out and make a top for it. So y'all come on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, I ran out of wood, so we're gonna use one by fours for the lid. And uh, I'm gonna do it like a picture frame or a uh, cabinet. We're gonna use a Craig jig, drill a hole in, and then use pocket screws. The uh, Craig pocket screws, they have a special head on them and you don't want to overdrive these either if you have a uh, if you have a powerful drill, set it on a lower setting so you don't strip them out. Yeah, that's all there is to it. We'll do uh, two on each corner. All right, so we got the frame complete. Like I said it's just like a picture frame or how you build cabinets. Now we'll get, uh, get some hardware cloth on there. All right, <laughs> we're gonna attempt to get this on here without any more malfunctions. Apparently, I'm no good at shooting a staple gun because every one of those first three missed the, missed the wire, went right in between them. <laughs> All right, sticking with the theme, I dug through my drawer of junk and Found some uh, old screen door hinges, so that's what we're going to be using. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get, put a little handle on it. If you can't hear that sound, that's because this is a piece of oak. It's a whole lot harder than that pine. Um, they had a little screen door handle too, so. That'll be just right on this thing. All right, all it needs a latch, and I couldn't find one in my junk pile, so. Let me give y'all a tour. All right, we got the uh, got the little brooder built out of scrap wood and stuff laying around the house. You can see uh, with the one by four top because that's what I had left to work with. Put a little two by two here to I can hang my light there, adjust it up and down. On the inside, we have one of the Producer Pride uh, type heaters that they can crawl, go up under or do whatever, depending on the heat. And uh, that's about it. That's uh, one quail brooder, cheap and easy. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video, maybe learned a little bit. I don't know nothing about it. It's my first one I ever built, but uh, it was a fun little project using scrap wood and stuff I had laying around the house. 
until next time, we'll see y'all down the road. By the way, it's RG's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs>